Hi. If there's one thing that keeps us up at night is how do we give our beloved customers more value for their dollar? Well, dollar or whatever currency you like. Well, we've been brainstorming and you can see on this board behind us, maybe not the actual board we use for brainstorming, but it's a good idea. We put together all the ideas about one of our existing products and said, how do we improve it? How do we give you more universes, more control in the same size box and for roughly the same price? Well, the outcome of all this brainstorming and all this hard work by our R&D department is the Octo Mark III. Now, what we did in the Octo Mark III that is a big evolution compared to the Octo Mark II is that we doubled the amount of control. One of the new features out of this Octo Mark III is that we can get 5,440 pixels of control out of this tiny little controller. Not only that, we've also doubled the amount of outputs. What this means is that usually on our Octo, you had two outputs. So you had to split your control over these two outputs. What you can do on the Octo Mark III, if you're not using a clock protocol, you can actually convert the clock line into a data output line. This gives you up to four outputs out of one single box. That means you can have four different runs. You could even have different protocols running on those different outputs. It's jam-packed with features. We love it and we think it's a great addition to any project where you need that flexibility of having one, two, three or four runs coming from a single compact box. We've kept all the great features that were in the Octo Mark II also in the Octo Mark III. So what we've done, for example, we've still got the two Ethernet ports in and out. You can daisy chain boxes. Um, we've got the internal effects generator. So if you want to create rainbows, simple kind of effects and runs, you don't need to have any control. Just go onto the web page, set it up, and that's all you need. It'll run by itself. Let me show you the interface, the new interface for the Octo Mark III. It's pretty similar to the old one, but there's a few extra features. Let's hop onto the laptop. I have my usual home, nothing much changes there as usual. In the settings though, as you'll see now, I have an option in my output settings to actually split the ports. So when I click on this, this says output data on clock. So that means on my output data one, I'm gonna be able to put data on the clock line. So you'll see on the connector, there's a clock line. I can put data on there. That's what I was talking about before of having four outputs. And I can do this for both ports, port one and port two. Now, the only drawback is I can't have a different protocol on port one data and port one clock line output. That's the only drawback, but I can still put port one and port two have different protocols. And then of course, I've got all my other usual settings, RGB, RGB white, map pixels, mapping all the Artnet, streaming, AC and universes to whatever port I want. That's all up to you, have complete freedom there. So in the beginning, I talked about the number of pixels you could do from the Octomark 3. It's at 5,444 pixels. But to put that into perspective, you might be wondering actually how much control is that? Well, if I take, an, let's say, a standard Neon Flex, which is 10 pixels per meter, that means I can control 544 meters of SPI Neon Flex from one single Octo Mark III. That's pretty groundbreaking. It's a lot of control from one little box. That's a wrap on the announcement of our new product, the Octo Mark III. The key points, as I said, you get double the amount of output, 32 universes, and also four physical outputs. So you can have four different runs coming from this box. From something this small, this is pretty groundbreaking. As usual, subscribe to our channel. We've got some great new stuff coming, more R&D, lots of software coming out also. So I'll catch you guys later. Thank you.